Well, most of us know Philadelphia's historic past, but there is some history you may not be aware of. That's why we took our mobile weather watcher to Old City today, where a colonial pub crawl lets people take a sip of history. Meteorologist Lauren Casey is there this evening learning more about the Tipplers tour. Lauren. I'm here at the Betsy Ross House in Old City, Philadelphia for Benjamin Franklin's birthday special edition Tipplers Tour, which takes place this Friday and Saturday and next. And I'm here with Phil uh, Historic Philadelphia Incorporated's Art Ryan. And can you tell us about what people are going to see, experience, and learn when they take this Tipplers Tour? Sure. So the Tipplers Tour is a colonial pub crawl that we offer here at Historic Philadelphia at different times of the year. In fact, we just finished up our holiday version of the tour. But this weekend, as you said, we're offering a a special tour and next weekend that will start here at the Betsy Ross House each night at 530 that will help celebrate the 312th birthday of Benjamin Franklin and I can't think of a better way of doing that than with music and toasting and song and good food and good drinks. We'll actually visit three different pubs here in Philadelphia uh, ending at the City Tavern. Uh, we'll guests will have a chance to uh, hear great uh, songs and great toast uh, by this gentleman right over here, uh, Brewer Robert Hare. All right, that sounds like a great birthday celebration yeah. to me. I think Ben would like it. So Trooper Hare, can you tell me what is a tippler? A tippler is a term that is given to someone in the 18th century from going to tavern to tavern, learning the topics of discussion, debates, and having a libation along the way. I, I googled it. I don't know. It just seemed to like to me maybe it was like just an inebriated person, but I like your sophisticated version of that. There, there are many different types of versions that are called. Uh, Nimtopsical would be one. He's lost his rudder. He's been to the cellar. He's filled his cart. He's seen two moons. He makes a Virginia fence. And there are many terms that Benjamin Franklin has given to one who has been, what did you say, inebriated? Yes, inebriated. <laughs> has partaken maybe in a few, maybe well, more than a few drinks. A few, but learned learning history along the way. And what better way to learn history from a brewer here in the city of Philadelphia? Absolutely. Now, people, if they join the tour, they get a copy of, he had like 200 names, right? He gives a lot of different terms for these, uh, should I say, terms of intoxication. <laughs> um, it, it is a uh, it is a lighthearted way, and he doesn't necessarily believe that it was himself that was in that case, but what he had observed in many of the different taverns. Okay. So Benjamin Franklin's birthday is the 17th. It's very close to mine. Both media Urologist, so I think we should uh, give a little toast. A proper toast is in proper order. toast to Benjamin Franklin as we Benjamin send it back Franklin, to Yuki yeah. in the studio. And a proper toast and a term okay. would be hip hip. Hooray! Huzzah! 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 Hip, hip, huzzah. 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 Benjamin, <laughs> here's to you. Back to you, Yuki. Oh, you All like right. that? <laughs>